Since last week's shooting in Florida, I've heard a great deal from students and staff members in Fort Bend ISD who are concerned and feel like this shooting felt different from any other school shooting that we've experienced in our nation. And I have to agree with them. After watching so much on the news and online, it's clear that living in a day where the media and social media are such a big part of our life, that alone brought our students directly into the halls of the school where the shooting occurred last week. And our students in Fort Bend feel like they were there and they experienced it along with those students. And that has caused concern in our schools. I share that concern because I want our students to feel safe. And I want them to know that we care about them and the things that they care about every single day. And so kind of in response to some of the messages that we've heard, we want to begin a conversation in Fort Bend ISD about student safety. As superintendent of this district, I take personally my responsibility to keep our students and our staff safe. And I believe we are doing many, many things to keep them safe. We're building vestibules in, our, in each of our schools. We're in the process of putting cameras in. Um, we're putting access controls in. We're doing things that are going to help make our schools more secure. But we also need to have conversations to make sure that our students and our parents and our teachers understand why we do all of the things that we do. So this video that we're recording today, I've invited a few, a few colleagues of mine who work with me here in Fort Bend ISD, people who lead important efforts, police officers, principals, counselors, people who care for our students and put systems in place to help them and support them. We're gonna to start today with our first conversation that's just some of, about some of the practical things our students need to know as we move forward. And I want you to understand we're here to talk to students and with students about these important topics. This isn't just a talking head video where we're gonna give you information and expect you just to take it and do what we say. We want this to be the beginning of a conversation that we initiate through video in a one-way conversation but then you can continue it on in your schools. And we're asking our principals and our teachers to continue the conversation with you in the classroom. So we just want to start out by talking about some of the things we're doing in Fort Bend ISD schools to keep students safe. All of Fort Bend ISD staff members, as well as the Fort Bend ISD Police Department, conduct safety drills throughout all of the schools. The safety drills consist of a lockdown or a lockout. We implement these items or these procedures so that we can make sure that our students are safe. It also helps our students and staff members to move quickly, calmly, and safely to the outside of the building if there is a threat. One of the things we like to do is to ensure that these drills that we run during the course of the year are, are done so that they're ingrained in their minds that this is something that we have to do time in and time out. But it's all about muscle memory. We want to make sure that any time that we do have a drill that they are used to the idea of exiting out a certain pathway, entering into a certain pathway. So the idea is for them to become road in the processes, but when that emergency does arise that they know exactly which way to go and which way to come back into. I'd like to hear some more discussion about why we do some of the things we do. We, we have drills, we've talked about that, but we also do things like keep all of our doors locked and we ask students not to let people in. Why do we do that? Safety is the most important thing that we can provide our students and, and faculty as well as our community at our schools. It is important that we keep our classrooms secure at all times as we know that it's at any time something could happen. So being prepared in, on the front end versus the back end is always better, being proactive versus reactive. So along with our drills, we have other activities that we, we enforce on a regular basis, such as locked doors, uh, identification of passes, having visitors check in through the front office, through our Raptor systems, to ensure that the right people are on campus always at the right time. Well, I think we need to be intentional in, in, in explaining the why, the why we do certain things. I think. Uh, as we mentioned earlier, we do go through the processes of the drills and the lockouts, the lockdowns, the shelters in place, duck and cover. But a lot of times it's lost in the process because students don't understand why we do it. Uh, so over the last month or so, one of our assistant principals, for example, we decided to go through the process explaining why we do certain things and then we've been able to explain those a little bit more thoroughly so that they have a better understanding of why. As a police officer, 
on campus, my experience is to make sure that the students are safe. I want them to feel comfortable and able to come and speak with me or our administration at any time if they see something or hear something. I'm glad you mentioned that because our students are so key in keeping our schools safe and we've heard from students that they want to be heard. They want different outlets to be able to speak up. So we encourage students to talk to a friend, talk to a trusted adult, a counselor, a teacher, talk to somebody. If you see something, if you're concerned about yourself or a friend or a family member, we want you to speak up and help to keep our schools safe. We love listening to you, we love working with you, but more importantly, if it's important to you, it matters to us. Coming to us with your concerns is very important. Allowing us to help you, support you, and make your situation better is our main goal. I know sometimes when we see things, when students see things on social media, they may share it with one another, but it's so important. I just cannot reinforce how important it is that they also share it with adults that they share it with someone responsible in the school, whether it's a police officer, a principal, a teacher, but help get help dealing with some of these issues. I know sometimes fear um, causes us to respond in ways that may not be the best way. So it's important that we learn to overcome the fear to do the right thing. You know, in our, in our profile of a graduate in Fort Bend ISD, we're really focused on developing the whole student. We want each of our students, we want you to feel confident, we want you to feel bold and courageous. We want you to be able to advocate for yourself. And sometimes that means you've got to step outside of the norm, step outside of what you think other students might want you to do to report something that could help save lives. You know, we've talked about some important things today. We've talked about drills, we've talked about speaking up, having your voice heard, but I know there are many other things that are on your mind. When you've seen some of the videos that are floating on social media right now about what happened in that school shooting last week, I know that you are thinking about what if it's my school. And so we want to come back to you in the very near future with another video where I'm going to invite some students to also join me so we can have some more conversations about this, about what if it is my school and how we can help prevent it from being a school in Fort Bend ISD. I will tell you, I do want to assure you that we are working hard to do building improvements. Some of our schools don't have some of the features yet, like access controls or like the vestibule. We're going to be taking some immediate action to make sure that we have volunteers or paid support staff in our district in some of those spaces to monitor, to help keep our buildings safer until some of those projects are completed. We want you to see evidence that we are taking your concerns seriously and that we're dedicated to keeping you safe in your school. Your number one job right now is to learn and to grow and to prepare for your future. And we want you to be focused on that, not worried and fearful about what could happen in your school building. Yes, we do want you to be aware. We want you to be in tune and we want you to be confident and bold to report whatever you see that may concern you. You've got to do that. If something seems a little off, a little odd, or just seems a bold threat that seems to be out there that people are reading, you may think others have reported it, but you don't know they have. So you need to step up and report it. I look forward to talking to you again in the very near future, along with some students. But in the meantime, just know in Fort Bend ISD, we are about you, we're about your future, and we're gonna do everything we can to keep you safe in your schools today.